Oh my gosh! Well, everybody, we're just enjoying a spinach wrap here. These things are really good. Um, if you don't mind my half-eaten food, there's the spinach wrap. And it's got turkey, light cheese, spinach, and spinach. You realize we made a spinach wrap with spinach inside of it? I didn't think about that one. Next uh, couple weekends, Nikki's got some days off, so we'll uh, be knocking into this hardcore. Because watching these videos, I realize that I need to clean my house really bad. I know you don't get a lot of camera time, do you? Huh, Pander? Yeah. She's almost got blue eyes. Don't you? This is Panda. You all know Panda. She don't. She don't get a lot of camera time. Cause she's usually doing something stupid. But she's a good dog. So we keep her around. So we're headed off to Sam's Club. They got a heck of a deal lately on bottled water, so we can get 40 for the same price as they pay for 24 at Hy-Vee. So make a trip out there. I hate coming through Windsor Heights. I absolutely hate this part of the town. Because it's 25 miles an hour everywhere, and they will get you for going 26. You think I'm kidding? Ask anyone around here. We'll tell you the same thing. And now they got mobile speed uh, cars now on Windsor Heights, too. It's ridiculous. It's amazing how cheap TVs are nowadays. They've got the same size TV that I bought, what, three years ago? I paid a thousand dollars for them and I can get a bigger one for 470 bucks. Insane. So I swear we came for. Let's look at the video before. I swear we came for water and Gatorade and we've ended up with way more than water and Gatorade. <laughs> we got all this kind of crap. Most of it's good stuff. Most of it's good stuff. That always happens. You plan to come for something and even when you have a list, you somehow go off the list. So I had a random comment today from someone, uh, Brandon Johnson, if you're real, um, I'm not sure why your comment is no longer there. Um, I would have to have, liked to have read the rest of it because the email cut it off. I mean, you can see here, it, it, it cut it off right there, but, but Brandon says, you know, he's been following my, blo my vlog for the, the past few videos and he notices that I say that I don't have a lot of money and I have a lot of personal stuff going on, but that I don't say what it is. And the email cuts off after it says, don't mention it at all if you can't, and I'm assuming can't, discuss it. I guess you're right, Brandon. If I'm not going to talk about it, don't bring it up at all. Don't mention it. You're right. You're absolutely right. So here we go. Some crap happened at work. Not any one specific fault, but basically um, I didn't get paid Friday. And I was still waiting to get the rest. I'm still waiting to get some of the rest, but not, we got most of it, my paycheck before that. Um, it was not anyone screwing me over. It was just some really crappy circumstances that caused us not to be able to get paid. And, you know, that's what I was talking about when you say you can't judge people and you can't, um, you know, jump to conclusions. So, Brandon, you're right. From now on, if I can't talk about it on the vlog, then I won't bring up anything. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's a learning experience. So, Brandon, if you do see this, I appreciate it. Again, I don't know what happened to your comment. I would have gladly responded to you on there, but I'll respond to you on here. So, hopefully you see this. But, yeah, you got a good point. Thank you. Going to make some shrimp and asparagus pasta. Should only take about half an hour. We'll see how long it actually takes me to cook it. This says 15 prep, 20 cook, and 35 total minutes. So, but it should be pretty simple. I mean, it's olive oil, garlic, red pepper, cream, cayenne, vegetable stock, asparagus, shrimp, lemon juice, salt, pepper, linguine, fettuccine, or spaghetti, and parmesan. So we'll see what happens here. I'm hoping it turns out good. Alrighty. 
So we're going to make some uh, shrimp and asparagus fettuccine. I've made this before but with a different recipe. I'm going to try this one see how it works. Uh, the one before I used uh, white wine for a sauce. Um, yeah, so we got uh, we got the asparagus going on with some diced red pepper. Got some shrimp ready to go. Got our cream and our garlic and lemon juice, olive oil, and of course we got some fettuccine. So let's get cooking. Well, we've got the red peppers, the cream, and the stock and the garlic simmering right now. Throw in the asparagus here in a little bit. Then we'll toss in some lemon juice and shrimp, and we'll be done here. It's a thin sauce, so they said to add an extra cup of cream. Well, the amount of cream we bought was this little tiny thing because I just couldn't find anything else. But so we bought this uh, cream. It's actually from a local place in Woodward, um, Iowa, but. So it wasn't quite enough. It's only 12 ounces, so it wasn't quite two cups worth, but I added it back in there. Just got to reduce it down about half, throw everything in there, and get the pot water going here. So waiting for the water to boil, but uh, we'll be cooking here really soon. Really excited. It's been a while since I made something like this. Pasta is finally going. Asparagus is in. Just waiting to add the shrimp and lemon juice. I don't know. I like my I like my asparagus cooked pretty well. I don't like it too crunchy. I don't like it you know, falling apart mushy, but I don't like it really, really al dente. I like it a little bit of crunch, but not much. So just cooking it down until it gets to that point. Toss everything in and we'll be done. Alrighty, the shrimp have joined the party. And I think the pasta is about ready to leave the party. So we are about done. So yeah, I'll show you the final product here in just a little bit. And there we go, the finished product. I haven't tasted it yet, but I tasted the sauce and it tasted pretty good. So, pretty sure Nick will like it. Let's go find out. All right. So, what's the verdict? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not bad. I like this recipe. This is different than mine. This is a cream sauce, and I think mine was like a wine sauce. But I'm gonna keep this one. I'll put a link in the description to this recipe if you're interested. But that's yeah, really good. It's really not that unhealthy. Yeah, the unhealthiest thing there really is is the cream. Um, but besides that, it's asparagus. Red peppers and shrimp. Okay, so we all have like weird things that we eat just by themselves that normally most people wouldn't eat by themselves. Um, what are yours? I, I have a few. My biggest one is green olives. I I, I don't know. I, I I just like I like green olives. Um, Nikki found these when she was cleaning out the fridge. They're still good. They're still good till March of 2015. But I'll just sit here and eat them with a fork. Or like uh, marinated artichoke hearts, I'll eat them with a fork. I really shouldn't be eating those. They're kind of high in fat, aren't they? But yeah, dinner was great. Dinner was awesome. Cannot wait to make that again. Got a few things I'm going to tweak on it. But yeah, I really, really liked it. But yeah, so what are your weird food items that you like to eat? Let me know. And yes, we have not been to the gym since Thursday. Um, I had plans on Friday that we went and did. And but yeah, we're going to head it back full force tomorrow. We're probably going to go at like 5 o'clock um, and see what it's like. They told us it was busy, but I want to see how busy it is compared to 7 o'clock. Because I don't like working out till 9 because it's just late. I'd rather get out earlier and get you know dinner and everything before it gets to be 9 o'clock at night. But yeah, so we're going to check that out tomorrow. Got some uh, some Gatorade, some trying to kick pop, as well as smoking, as well as uh, losing weight. Uh, I have fallen off the wagon a little bit. I've had a few cigarettes here and there um, since New Year's. Uh, but I haven't bought any. I, I think I've had maybe five or six total in the last week. So for me, that's an improvement considering I was doing a pack a day. So, But yeah, so we're going to get back to working out tomorrow um, and everything, getting back on track. We'll see you guys tomorrow.